Hello and welcome back to the studio. My name is Ryan. Today we're going to be watching The Expanse Season 2, Episode 9. Last episode, we had some pretty interesting things happen between a lot of the characters on our ship as well as off the ship. Naomi um, almost getting found out, it feels like, and then trying to relocate the proto-molecule that she stashed behind that meteor. Holden kind of revealing that he went to go kill the scientist, Cortazar, and really was kind of going against everything that he had stood for up to this point. Interesting dynamic between him and Naomi further on in that episode. Amos being really, really odd with, you know, coming out of that, I don't know if it was the brothel or wherever it was, and he seemed sweaty and just overall off, more than usual, um, a little less empathetic than usual, which was, well, interesting and leaves me pondering a bit. But, you know, hopefully it's just nothing. Um, again, kind of having that uh, setup from Dawes, giving that message to Fred Johnson and kind of showing more of the rebellion building and showing that the tensions are even getting higher and higher and higher. Um, even saw a coup kind of happen on Tycho and Drummer actually he just like murdering those two guys after the fact was justice. Even on that same note, two minor or a, maybe a minor point for the episode, but a bigger thing overall was the introduction of the scientist uh, Meng, I believe which has this connection to the protomolecule, which I came up with an interesting theory that at least that I think could be a weird twist or a fun twist on it, being that they knew about the protomolecule, from, like got it from protogen and was using it to put it and test it on small children to see it grow and learn with them, to kind of, you know, see how it would learn with a, a human being that would learn. So that would be, that might may be interesting. They were testing it on children. Anyways, the last episode was very, very interesting. We're getting closer and closer to what I believe to be a very pivotal moment, which I can only assume is, or at least one of them is going to be, uh, not only the information they find on Ganymede, but also, I think, Na the reveal that will inevitably happen, I think, of Naomi having hid and not destroyed the protomolecule that they had. I think that's gonna be a very, 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 very important, like, character moment and diverging of our characters. I think that, I think, predicting that they are going to actually split around that point, either into smaller groups or go separate ways for a bit, and then their paths will inevitably cross when the, like, you know, super planetary war happens or whatever. Um, but, um, you know, this is all, you know, speculation and just speaking. But if you guys like the content, give this video a like. It is free and it really does help with the channel and pushes the videos to newer people that haven't seen it and suggests them this video and others like it from our channel. As well as if you haven't subscribed, if you're new here and you do like the content, we do do The Expanse every Monday. And, you know, we're going to be starting to do uh, some movies, especially for the uh, October Halloween season. We're going to be doing some original, you know, classics of the genre, it feels like, and uh, some that have been suggested by the audience on the last video. So, uh, yeah, without any further ado, if you guys are ready, I'm ready. I'll see you in the video. Well, that's a really cool, like, tool. They can just do an ID scan with, like, the fingertips. That's really cool. I actually wonder how they made and designed all the weapons and, like, like tech for this. Like, the outfits on the, the Martian guys. That's really sick to me. I wonder how, like, what materials they used to make it. If it was all custom or something. We're gonna have to impound the ship. That's outrageous. Get the hell out of my ship! ship. No. Ah. Whoa, that's Holden! Wait. I know you. You're James Holden. Well, this is out to a good start. Holy crap, they recognized him. Oh, shit! What are they doing? Are they, like, hijacking a ship? Dude, I must have not remembered what happened at the very end of the last episode. I can't remember now. God, now I look stupid. There's a lot riding on you, Gunny. Now is not the right time to go to war. Yeah, easy for him to say, man. When you've sank, like, your personal identity on the fact that you're trying to fight this, this, this planet that you're going to, to try and make peace with, probably isn't going to sit well with her. Not here to give the blues anything to laugh about. Man, what is she doing, man? All I can tell you is that he covers his tracks very well. And if that ship does find something on Venus, Aaron Wright is not going to tell you shit. That's why I have an inside man. I think she's accounted for it. 
Exactly. See, Christian is, she's not stupid, man. If there's anything that she's proven over the last, at least, you know, time that we've been watching, it's that she is not stupid. And she's always the one that's ahead of the game, usually. I wanted to believe in magic. Well, you know, that's normal for a child, right? That's because children are stupid. Uh -huh. Hmm. Betty's fun at parties, too. Colonel, we just picked up an MCRN ship in Venus orbit. They were waiting for us. Oh, well, shit. Looks like everybody wants to get a little peek at what happened in Venus. So I want to say I'm sorry. She was a good person. Amos. Amos! <sighs> what the hell was that doctor doing in there? And if his daughter is alive, wh why did he take her specifically and where? It's nice to be having an actual conversation instead of trading recordings for once. It would have been even nicer if you had met us halfway. <laughs> Man, the tensions are high. The reason we're here is to prevent a war. Let's start by remembering the fallen. So the issue at hand is de-escalation. Let's get right to it. We have a lot on our agenda. Okay, Aaron Wright, the insensitive, you know, little bit there was uh, noted. We are an unarmed research vessel on a scientific mission, as is our right under the Venus Accords. Any interference with our operations may be considered an act of war. Arbogast out. <sighs> Man, dude, this Janice guy is no nonsense. I kind of like it. Stop pretending to care about my daughter. What does she have to do with this protomolecule you're after? The protomolecule is that what really moved Eros? Could that have to do with May? We don't know yet. That's what I want to know, actually. <laughs> what was Strickland treating her for? She has a genetic disorder. The moment Dr. Strickland saw her, he knew exactly what was wrong. That can't be a coincidence. I agree. Your plan's always this vague. This is about average. You all must be very lucky. We certainly had our fair share. Hey. That's your plan. I hope your luck rubs off. And if I had a rabbit foot, I would rub that too, I guess. <laughs> this is Marine Gunnery Sergeant Roberta Draper. She will be giving you her account of the battle. And in the interests of transparency, you're welcome to examine her power armor as well. All right, here we go. The UN Marines appeared to be charging our position. So you're saying that we opened fire on you? No, sir. We were out of contact with our ship and unable to confirm. And at the time, our comms were... Ah, wait, is she deviating? My team formed a firing line and prepared to engage if the UN Marines crossed 500 meters, which would have put them on our side of the zone. They were closing in on us fast. <sighs> Christian's noticing something's weird. As commander wow. of the fire team, the responsibility... She just said it. Mine. She did just follow the orders of what they told her to say. According to our investigation, it was Private Richard Travis that fired the first shot. He was born on Earth. His parents emigrated to Mars when he was a child. Oh, no. They're gonna, they're gonna literally try and, they're gonna try and pin this all on him. Wow. Christian's not buying it. Dude. Yo, this is getting deep. Yo, she might, she might, wait, wait, she's gonna say something before she leaves? I wonder. Christian knows something's up. She knows something's off. Wow, dude. Wow. I was not expecting that. I guess, I guess that would have really incited some things, especially if she revealed the, any of that information. Because then she could have, I, I don't know, man. I really thought that she was going to give it up. I thought she was going to say something along the lines of like, there was a seventh person or something. Like, I thought she was going to mention something of it, but I, that probably would have just been bad because the Martians would have covered it up or, or, or whatever. And it turns out that they were trying to pin it on one of the cadets. Wow, that's crazy. I'm not gonna lie, I've been kind of quiet through most of the episode, just kind of taking it in, because this has been pretty slow moving, a little more talkative, um, a little more setup, and I was kind of like, huh, I didn't know where we were going with this, and like, wow, that, that information, although nothing crazy happened, and there was no, like, you know, incident that happened, that was interesting. Tension was crazy, and that right there is gonna, I can only, I can only imagine what that's gonna do later. You did well in that, Gunny. The hard part's over. <laughs> Yeah, I have really I don't really think that's gonna work out there, Chief. This young man is a perfect scapegoat. I'm like a gift horse in the mouth, Christian. I never understood that idiotic face. I don't know. Like Christian, things are fishy, man. It's all fishy. Now we gotta pray that this works too. Good lord. Yeah, boys. 
lasagna. Lasagna. You be careful down there, Arthur. Careful up here, Martian. It's nice to see that little exchange with Alex and Amos. I like that. That was nice. Godspeed, Cowboys. See you soon. Sonambulist out. You're gonna get us all killed. It is an option. That is true. All right then, so we're done. One last thing. I'd like to speak to Sergeant Drape again. I have a few questions. We all came here in the hopes that we could begin to trust each other. I want to speak with Sergeant Draper. Now. Holy shit. Dude, okay, I literally thought they were gonna end the episode. Wow, dude. This is insane. I knew it, dude. I knew Christian thought it was weird, and of course, in front of everybody, while well, everybody's here in person, she's not gonna let him get away. Love that, dude. Holy crap, dude. I got goosebumps when she said that. That was awesome. God, I hope she I hope that I hope the Draper actually reveals it. I hope Bobby reveals it. In this building, it's easy to forget. With all due respect, madam. Where are you going with this? Wherever I goddamn like. Yeah, so shut your mouth. All right. Do you really believe that after all that sacrifice and all his training, the training that made him, as you said, one of your best soldiers? Oh, the Martians are seeing where this is going. They do not like where this line of questioning is going. So you were fired upon. He was trying to kill the enemy. I didn't even know what it was. Nobody did. He wasn't wearing a vex suit. Sergeant Draper has been. Holy shit! Whoever the fuck you are, stand down and let her speak. Unless there is something you don't want her to say. Holy fuck! They're fucking cornered, boys. We've got them. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Holy shit. It was Travis. He panicked. Oh, fuck. Wow. 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 Dude, I can't even believe that that just happened. Wow. She didn't... That's not what I expected. I really thought she was gonna, she was gonna give it up. She kind of did. And maybe, maybe that, maybe her saying that, like reiterating and doubling down is almost like the subliminal, like, no, you definitely are onto something. Hold it. Go in on that. It's, it's, it's boring its way? Is it boring its way into the center of Venus? Lighthouse scans indicate the presence of biological compounds in the air above the crater. Life in an environment that melts lead. Aliens are real. Just like a soldier and Ganymede without a suit. Wh I just got goosebumps again. Wow. They keep doing that, man. I keep thinking they're going to end the episode and they're not. I love that. <laughs> it's like mini cliffhangers. All right, now, darling, give me a continuous track on every ship on Ganymede and keep your ears peeled. Monitor every MCRN band and broadcast. I want to know if there is anything that affects traffic going in and out of that station. Now we wait. After we land, local muscle will come on board. Take 10% off our cargo. It's perfectly normal. I'm sure we can convince them. I don't want you doing a goddamn thing. I know your type. You're on a crusade. Hey, that's kind of true. Hey, that's kind of true. It's kind of what I've been saying. That didn't look good. Yep. Our agreement was 10%. See, this time, we are taking all of the cargo and the ship. All right, all right, we have a deal. We got company! God damn! Yeah, do you think they want their help now, or what? That's more killing than Holden's done in the entire thing. <laughs> they were gonna kill you, we had to do something. Oh man, did they accidentally shoot him? 
Please. <sighs> Go! Get off my ship! Go! Jeez. It's a no-win scenario. Kill you and take everything or this. Of course, that's how they end it. Pfft, typical. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. This episode, man, I thought there wasn't going to be much going on. Honestly, I this, this episode seemed a little slower. And to me, it's been one of the weakest episodes overall. But I loved that moment in the courtroom. I loved that. That was cool. Hopefully, I wasn't out of focus when I stood out of my chair. I really thought they were going to drop the bomb on us, and they didn't. But, you know, so it goes. Sometimes you can't have it all. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. Wow, what a fantastic episode. Love the setup they're doing. Gunny's decision, I know I keep switching Gunny, Bobby, Draper, whatever. I'll just, we all know, whenever I call her one of the three names, we're gonna all know who it is. But when uh, when Bob basically didn't tell them the first time and just followed the script and then Christian immediately knew and then called her back in, that was crazy, got goosebumps there. Then when she's in the actual interrogation in front of everybody, all the diplomats, she then double. She then, you know, breaks character a bit, and reels it back and doubles down again. And I knew that 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 was that was an intense, crazy moment. And that was the highlight of this episode for me, at least. And the rest of the episode was kind of just some setup, some small, minor, minute things of like you know, um, silent character moments and looks and, and and gestures and you know, body language stuff. But other than that, you know solid episode uh, i would say it's one of the weaker ones so far though uh, not my favorite like the moment in the uh interrogation thing but yeah overall uh looks like next episode is gonna be more setup so uh yeah that's all i got thanks for sticking around don't forget to like um if you liked and subscribe if you're new i'll see you guys in the next one